Namaste. How many of you have wondered, that what makes India so special, and unique in the eyes of the world? Is it its historical significance, cultural heritage or economic advancement? In this video, we have got it all covered for you. India, officially the Republic of India, is a country in South Asia, bounded by the Indian Ocean on the south, the Arabian Sea on the southwest, and the Bay of Bengal on the southeast. It shares land borders with Pakistan to the west, China, Nepal, and Bhutan to the north, and Bangladesh and Myanmar to the east. In the Indian Ocean, India is in the vicinity of Sri Lanka and the Maldives. Andaman and Nicobar Islands, which is also a part of the territory of India, share a maritime border with Thailand and Indonesia. However, with a robust population of 1.38 billion, India is the second most populous country in the world, after China which has a population of 1.44 billion. This makes the density of the population of India very high, with 382 persons per square kilometre. Did you know that if Uttar Pradesh, a state in North India, alone is declared as a separate country, then it would be the fourth most populous country in the world? The climate of India comprises a wide range of weather conditions, across a vast geographic scale and varied topography, making it difficult to generalize. Climate in North India, is generally hotter than South India, whereas the South India gets more humid due to nearby coasts. Most parts of the nation don't experience temperatures below 10 degrees Celsius in winter, with few exceptions, and the temperature usually tends to exceed 40 degrees Celsius during summer. Though the Tropic of Cancer passes through the middle of India, the bulk of the country can be regarded as climatically tropical. The country experiences four standard seasons namely, winter from January to February, summer from March to May, monsoon from June to September, and a post-monsoon period from October to December. Many regions in the country have starkly different microclimates, making it one of the most climatically diverse countries in the world. New Delhi is the capital of India, and also the administrative hub of the country. It is also the seat of all three branches of the Government of India, hosting the Rashtrapati Bhavan, Parliament House, and the Supreme Court of India. Considered as the hub for international trade, it is the largest commercial city of North India. It is loved by the tourists as well as its inhabitants, for being a city of the wise and the spice. Did you know? that Delhi is home to the largest market of spices in Asia. The second most populated city in the world, Delhi is among the world's top 10 most popular cities for tourists. It is home to the world's tallest structure, Kutub Minar, and is the second most bird-rich capital city in the world, after Nairobi. You would be surprised to know, that despite the fact that the entire public transport system in the city runs on Sanji, it is the most polluted city in the world. According to consensus in modern genetics, anatomically modern humans first arrived on the Indian subcontinent, from Africa around 73,000 to 55,000 years ago. However, the earliest known human remains in India date back to 30,000 years ago. Known as one of the oldest civilizations of the world, the Indus Valley Civilization flourished between 2500 BCE, and 1900 BCE in Pakistan, which was earlier a part of India, it was noted for its urban planning, baked brick houses, elaborate drainage, and water supply. Most of the Indian subcontinent was conquered by the Maurya Empire, during the 4th and 3rd centuries BCE. During the classical period, various parts of India were ruled by numerous dynasties for the next 1500 years, among which the Gupta Empire stands out. This period, witnessing a Hindu religious and intellectual resurgence, is known as the Classical or Golden Age of India. Southern India saw the rise of multiple imperial powers, from the middle of the 5th century, most notably the Shalukya, Kola, Pallava, Shara, Pandayan, and Western Shalukya empires. The Delhi Sultanate was founded in 1206 CE, by Central Asian Turks who ruled a major part of the northern Indian subcontinent in the early 14th century, but declined in the late 14th century, and saw the advent of the Deccan Sultanates. 
the wealthy Bengal Sultanate also emerged as a regional and diplomatic power, lasting over three centuries. This period saw the emergence of several powerful Hindu and Rajput states, such as Mavar and Chitta. The 15th century also saw the advent of Sikhism. The early modern period began in the 16th century, when the Mughal Empire conquered most of the Indian subcontinent, becoming the biggest global economy and manufacturing power, with a nominal GDP that valued a quarter of the world's GDP, superior to the combination of Europe's GDP. The Mughals suffered a gradual decline in the early 18th century, which provided opportunities for the Marathas, Sikhs, Misereans, and Nawabs of Bengal, to exercise control over large regions of the Indian subcontinent. From the mid-18th century to the mid-19th century, large regions of India were gradually annexed by the East India Company, a chartered company, acting as a sovereign power on behalf of the British government. Dissatisfaction with the company rule in India, led to the Indian Rebellion of 1857, which rocked parts of North and Central India, and led to the dissolution of the company. India was afterwards ruled directly by the British Crown, in the British Raj. After World War I, a nationwide struggle for independence was launched by the Indian National Congress, led by Mahatma Gandhi, noted for his non-violent strategy. Later, the All India Muslim League advocated, for a separate Muslim-majority nation-state, and thus, Pakistan came into existence. The British Indian Empire was partitioned in August 1947, into the Dominion of India, which is the present-day India, and the Dominion of Pakistan, which is the present-day Pakistan, and Bangladesh, each gaining its independence. The country is home to several historical personalities of global significance such as Mahatma Gandhi, an Indian revolutionary and a freedom fighter, who is considered as, the father of the nation, and was known for his methods of non-violence. Then we have Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, a polymath scholar, social reformer, and Dalit activist leader, who was also considered as the founding father of the Republic of India. Did you know, that India has never invaded any country in her last 100,000 years of history? The world's first university was established in Takshila in 700 BC, where more than 10,500 students from all over the world, studied more than 60 subjects. India was one of the richest countries till the time of British rule, in the early 17th century. Christopher Columbus, attracted by India's wealth, came looking for a sea route to India, when he discovered America by accident. Varanasi, also known as Banaras, was called the ancient city, when Lord Buddha visited it in 500 BC, and is one of the oldest cities in the world today. Tourism is an important sector of the Indian economy which is growing at a fast rate. The World Travel and Tourism Council calculated that tourism generated $240 billion, which is 9.2% of India's GDP in 2018, and supported 43 million jobs, which is 8.1% of India's total employment. The Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Report 2019 ranked India 34th out of 140 countries overall, in terms of tourism. There are 38 World Heritage Sites in India, that are recognized by the UNESCO. These places of importance of cultural or natural heritage include, Lotus Temple in Delhi, Golden Temple in Amritsar, Elephanta Caves in Maharashtra, Konak Sun Temple in Odisha, Bengal Tiger in Sundarbans, and Mysore Palace to name a few. One can never fall short of places to visit, be it any region of the country. From the Dull Lake in the north, to the Tirupati Temple in the south, and from the Hawa Mahal in the west, to the Tiger Hill in the east, India has it all. With its foggy hill stations, captivating beaches, historical monuments, golden deserts, serene backwaters, pilgrimage sites, rich wildlife, and colorful fairs, the country captures the heart of every tourist. In addition, a variety of festivals, lively markets, vibrant lifestyle, and traditional Indian hospitality, will make your experience in India as a tourist, truly unforgettable and fantastic. Taj Mahal, one of the seven wonders of the world, is situated in Agra, in the northern state of Uttar Pradesh. 
Did you know, that the Bailey Bridge, located in the Ladakh Valley, between the Draz and Suru rivers in the Himalayan mountains, is the highest bridge in the world and is built by the Indian Army? India also boasts some magnificent megastructures, which serve as an important tourist and economic centers, such as the 182 meters high Statue of Unity, which is the tallest statue in the world. The Banyal Kazigand Road Tunnel, an 8.5 km road tunnel at an elevation of 1,790 meters. The 359 meters high Chenab Bridge, which is the world's highest rail bridge, and the 268 meters high, the 42, which is the tallest building in the country. India is a mega diverse country, a term employed for 17 countries, which display high biological diversity and contain many species exclusively indigenous or endemic to them. India is a habitat for 8.6% of all mammal species, 13.7% of bird species, 7.9% of reptile species, 6% of amphibian species, 12.2% of fish species, and 6% of all flowering plant species, from which, a third of Indian plant species are endemic. India also contains four of the world's 34 biodiversity hotspots, or regions that display significant habitat loss, in the presence of high endemism. Besides having the majority of the world's wild tigers, India is the only place, besides Africa, where lions are naturally found. To your surprise, the one-horned rhinoceros is found only in India. Religion in India is characterized by a diversity of religious beliefs and practices. The preamble of the Indian constitution states that India is a secular state. The Indian subcontinent is the birthplace of four of the world's major religions, namely, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and Sikhism. Throughout India's history, religion has been an important part of the country's culture. Religious diversity and religious tolerance are both established in the country by the law and custom. Secularism in India is practiced to the core of its meaning, and in true spirits. India is a religiously pluralistic, and multi-ethnic democracy which is the largest in the world. Don't be surprised to know, that there are more than 3 lakh active mosques in India, which is more than any other country in the world, including Islamic countries. Also, did you know, that the four religions born in India that is Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and Sikhism, are followed by 25% of the world's population. Indian culture is the heritage of social norms, ethical values, traditional customs, belief systems, political systems, artifacts, and technologies, that originated in or are associated with the Indian subcontinent. From classical dance forms like Bharat Natyam and Katak, to typical Indian dresses like sari and kurta, to ancient Indian sculptures and epics like the Ramayana and Mahabharata, the country is sure to mesmerize you with its cultural beauty. Though there are no official records, some unofficial surveys tell us that more than 20,000 languages are spoken in India. Sanskrit, one of the oldest known languages, is referred to as the mother language, because most of the modern languages spoken in the world today have their roots from Sanskrit. The constitution of India officially recognizes only 22 languages. However, state governments are free to adopt any local language as the official language of their state. People usually associate Hindi to be the official language of the country, spoken by the majority. In reality, however, that is not the case. According to the Times of India, about 59% of the population speak a language other than Hindi. Did you know? that Tamil is one of the oldest known languages in the world, spoken even today? India is the land of festivals. Owing to its rich amalgamation of different cultures, e. thick backgrounds, languages, religious sentiments, diverse history, and different traditions, there are a large number of festivals celebrated in India all round the year. From Diwali and Eid, to Christmas and Lori, Various religious backgrounds have enriched the festivities of the country. Each region and each state, has its own special festivals, which are celebrated grandly. The most popular festivals in the country are, Diwali, the festival of lights, 
Holi, the festival of colors. Eid, the festival of breaking the fast. Ganesh Chaturthi, the arrival of Lord Ganesha. Durga Puja, an homage to Goddess Durga. Christmas, the birthday of Jesus Christ. Muru Purab, the birthday of Guru Nanak Dev. And Janmashtami, the birthday of Lord Krishna. The economy of India is characterized as a developing market economy by the IMF. From independence in 1947 until 1991, successive governments promoted protectionist economic policies, with extensive state intervention, and regulation which is characterized as diarigism. The end of the Cold War, and an acute balance of payments crisis in 1991, led to the adoption of a broad program of economic liberalization. Since the start of the 21st century, annual average GDP growth has been 6% to 7%, and from 2014 to 2018, India was the world's fastest-growing major economy, surpassing China. Historically, India was the largest economy in the world for most of the two millennia, from the 1st until 19th century. With a nominal GDP of $2.6 trillion, which is twice the GDP of Australia, and four times that of Saudi Arabia, India is the sixth largest economy in the world, right after the United Kingdom. Nearly 60% of India's GDP is driven by domestic private consumption, and continues to remain the world's sixth largest consumer market. It ranks 63rd on Ease of Doing Business Index, and 68th on Global Competitiveness Report. With 520 million workers, the Indian labor force is the world's second largest as of 2019. India has one of the world's highest number of billionaires. India ranks second globally, in food and agricultural productio, and while the construction and real estate sector is the second largest employer after agriculture, and a vital sector to gauge economic activity. The Indian textiles industry is estimated at $150 billion, and contributes 7% of industrial output, and 2% of India's GDP as it employs over 45 million people directly. The Indian IT industry is a major exporter of IT services, with $180 billion in revenue, and employs over 4 million people. India's telecommunication industry, is the world's second largest by quantity of mobile phones, smartphones, and internet users. It is the world's tenth largest oil producer, and the third largest oil consumer. The Indian automobile industry is the world's fourth largest by production. It has $672 billion worth of retail market, which contributes over 10% of India's GDP, and has one of world's fastest growing e-commerce markets. India has the world's fourth largest natural resources, with the mining sector contributing to 11% of the country's industrial GDP, and 2.5% of total GDP. It is also the world's second largest coal producer, the second largest cement producer, the second largest steel producer, and the third largest electricity producer. With a human development index of 0.647, India ranks 129th out of 189 countries. The county was ranked 144th out of 156 countries, in terms of gross happiness in the year 2020. The cost of living in India is 66% less than that in the United States, where Mumbai and Delhi, two metropolitan Indian cities, rank among the top 25 most expensive cities in Asia for expatriates, while Kolkata, Another Indian metropolitan city is among the least expensive cities in Asia. Talking about the national currency of India, the Indian rupee, in comparison to USD, we see that one US dollar equals 73.72 Indian rupee. India is a federation with a parliamentary system, governed under the Constitution of India, the country's supreme legal document. It is the world's largest democratic country, with a federal government system. Federalism in India, defines the power distribution between the Union and the states. The Constitution of India, which came into effect on 26 January 1950, originally stated India to be a, sovereign, democratic republic. This characterization was, however, amended in 1971 to a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic. 
In 2018, India ranked 16th in terms of total exports, and 11th in terms of total imports all over the world. It exported goods and services worth $326 billion and imports of $492 billion. The top exports of India are refined petroleum worth $41.5 billion, diamonds worth $26.3 billion, and packaged medicaments worth $14 billion. The top imports of the country are crude petroleum worth $101 billion, gold worth $32.8 billion, and coal briquettes worth $27.2 billion. Its major trading partners are China, the USA, and UAE. When mentioning sports, most people associate India with just cricket. However, several traditional indigenous sports are heavily popular in the country, such as Kabaddi, Koko, Pilwani, and Chili Danda. Chess, believed to have originated in India as Chattanga, is regaining widespread popularity with the rise in the number of Indian grandmasters. The improved results garnered by the Indian Davis Cup team, and other Indian tennis players in the early 2010s, have made tennis increasingly popular in the country. India has a comparatively strong presence in shooting sports, and has won several medals at the Olympics, the World Shooting Championships, and the Commonwealth Games. Other sports in which Indians have succeeded internationally, include badminton, boxing, and wrestling. Football is popular in West Bengal, Goa, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and the northeastern states. Coming to cricket, which is not just a sport in India but an emotion for many. The country has won several international accolades in the sports, including the ICC World Cup, the ICC Champions Trophy, and the T20 World Cup. Cinema and television entertainment is immensely popular in India. Every year, more than 1800 films get produced in various languages in India. Indian cinema is a global enterprise, with a mass following throughout Southern Asia and across Europe, North America, Asia, the Greater Middle East, Eastern Africa, China and elsewhere, reaching in over 90 countries. Biopics like Danga, L became transnational blockbusters grossing over $300 million worldwide. Several Bollywood superstars like Shah Rukh Khan and Amitabh Bachchan have a huge recognition all across the globe. Recently, OTT platforms like Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, and Hotstar have started producing original content, and Bollywood movies have flourished immensely. Indian cuisine consists of a wide variety of regional and traditional cuisines. Given the range of diversity in soil type, climate, culture, ethnic groups, and occupations, these cuisines vary substantially from each other, using locally available spices, herbs, vegetables, and fruits. From North Indian dishes like dal makhani and sarsan de sarg, to South Indian delicacies like dosa and idli, to East India specialties like luchi and mark, to Western India popular vada pav and dorkla, the whole of India has a large variety of mouth-watering dishes which can please any foodie. Also, you just cannot afford to miss the spicy Indian street food like Pani Puri, Kola Bhatura, Vada Pav, Podi Chaat, and Pav Bhaji. Known for its taste all over the world, Indian street food is sure to be an unforgettable experience for you. India has emerged as the fastest growing economy in the world, and is expected to be one of the top three economic powers in the world over the next 10 to 15 years, backed by its robust democracy and strong partnerships. India's GDP is expected to reach $5 trillion by FY25, and achieve upper-middle income status on the back of digitization, globalization, favorable demographics, and reforms. India is also focusing on renewable sources to generate energy. It is planning to achieve 40% of its energy from non-fossil sources by 2030, which is currently 30%, and have plans to increase its renewable energy capacity from to 175 gigawatts by 2022. India is expected to be the third largest consumer economy, as its consumption may triple to $4 trillion by 2025, owing to shift in consumer behavior and expenditure pattern, 
according to a Boston Consulting Group report. It is estimated to surpass the USA to become the second largest economy in terms of purchasing power parity by 2040, as per a report by PricewaterhouseCoopers. Well, that was all for India, the fastest growing economy in the world. Do like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Explified.